My name is Lashani Davis. I'm a speed skater of 21 years. Within that time, I reached the highest title of being Olympic and world champion, all around world champion, world sprint champion, Olympic champion two times over in 1,000, and uh, silver medalist two times in the 1,500 meters. There's always a certain type of curiosity behind where, who I am and where I'm at. There's been times I've been through customs and like, why are you here? I'm like, I'm here to skate. Like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I am sure that I'm here to skate. But where's your coach? Because I was traveling alone and they're like, and I was young, I didn't know how to reach him or locate him, but I sat in Italy for a few hours and then finally it dawned, I'm like, oh yes, okay, you're, you're, you know, you're a skater, okay. My apologies and they sent me on my way. Normally when I'm away traveling, my first and foremost priority is speed skating. And then after the competition, we have a little free time to kick back and relax. Usually there's like a local pub or a, a disco or a bar or something that all the skaters go to. So we can kind of mix with the locals of the area. Um, we get a lot of chances to meet a lot of the people and make relationships with them because we have a circuit that's usually similar. So we always go to like Berlin, we always go to Erfurt, Germany, we go to Holland a lot, Herrenveen's the city there. We go to um, different places in Japan as well as China. Before Torino, we have to get used to like the jet lag of the, I think they're about eight hours ahead of us and um, we are over there for like two months. Now, if you're gonna be anywhere in Europe for two months and you're not really big on the food or the, the culture, I would say it's, Italy's a, it's a place that will break that type of stereotype or fear. Italy was a really warm, well-received place, and um, they're very friendly there. I think Vancouver is a place that everyone should see. It's a place that is uh, very special within its uh, nature. It has uh, the ocean, it has the mountains, it has a pretty developed, well-developed city. And uh, the beauty of Vancouver is it's very diverse, so it's a really special place. If you're into food and cuisines and things like that, you can find anything at any given time of the day. Uh, Tokyo is a real special place. Uh, it just seems like the energy is really good there. The people, it's, it's so massive, so many people, but everyone's, they're not stepping all over each other. It's like a mixed unison of like happiness. It's not, uh, it's not crazy energy. It's just the right amount of energy is there. It's good. Uh, culturally, it's very deep. A lot of things that we, I was able to see there and how they built their cities, uh, to me, is really amazing. They have heated streets, there's no snow. <laughs> they have a lot of real crazy technology advances there. Train systems, buses, everything's really good there. I'm very familiar with this because I've been all over the world. You can't get a decent deep dish pizza anywhere else in the world except for Chicago. I used to live in Calgary, and in Calgary they say Chicago deep dish. They try to advertise it, and I'm like, oh, let's see what it's about. True Chicago one here. And, uh, we got the pizza and they're like, oh, this is so awesome. I'm like, no, it really isn't. It's good enough right now, but it, it isn't a Giordano's, it isn't a Eduardo's, and yeah, so no. I traveled all around the world competing in many different places. To someday have the chance and opportunity to hold these up in front of you. A lot of hard work went into them, a lot of miles over in the airplanes. We got the most important things out of those trips and those experiences, and we have two of the most prestigious, best medals in the world, gold and the silver, they're very beautiful.